Today, we're tackling the big question, how does Microsoft Loop work in Microsoft Copilot? And in the vast universe of Microsoft 365, how can those two tools come together to ultimately save you time and make you more productive? Now to do that, let's consider a sales conference. If we're planning on our next sales conference, we're gonna to need to pull through some information, such as a location, itinerary, and more. And how are we gonna do that without spending hours working in Loop to pull through that information? Well, AI and Microsoft Copilot can do a lot of that for us. And also, being able to integrate it in Microsoft Loop, well, will even save us even more time. So stay with me as we explore the capabilities of Microsoft Copilot inside of Microsoft Loop that we can use today to save us time. And not only that, consider a couple of areas that it can't quite do for us today. So let's dive in to Microsoft Loop and see how Copilot can change the way that we work with Loop forevermore. So here I am inside the Microsoft Loop and we're going to be planning a sales conference to New York. Now we're also going to need to do a bit of work right in terms of planning out where we're going to go for our conference and other elements. And we're going to see if Microsoft Copilot can help us out. Now here I've already created a brand new workspace and a page dedicated to planning for our sales conference and giving it a header as we can see behind me. So what we can now do is draft some content. So let's consider, for our sales conference, we need to tell people why we're selecting New York as the best place to run our sales conference. That might take me 10 or 15 minutes to pull together. Well, how about in Loop, we have Copilot help us out? Yes, what we can now do is go into our Loop page and we can now click on the forward slash key to open up the Loop menu. In here, when you have a Copilot license, you'll have two options to create new content or summarize this page. Let's go ahead and select draft page content. Now here we have four additional options. What I tend to think of these are, are examples of prompts. For example, if I click on create, it gives me an idea of what I could do as a prompt. Brainstorm, it will also show another prompt I can use. Noting that we can change the prompt wording using Copilot to help us out. Well, the best one I could probably use here is describing. We're gonna describe why New York is the best place to run our next sales conference. With our prompt now completed, including information on why we feel it's the best place and also telling Copilot how to generate that content, I'm gonna go ahead and then send it into Microsoft Loop. We can now see that Copilot is generating information for us. And there we have it. We now have two paragraphs of content outlining why New York City is a great place to run our conference. But also, we can rewrite any content that also gets placed inside the Microsoft Loop. Think of this as like version control. On the right hand side, we can see the question I asked Copilot initially, but here I can now ask it to rewrite it, change a tone and so forth. So let's change this tone of this content to make it a little bit more friendly so we can share this with our colleagues later. And there we go, we now have Copilot updating that content to make it a little bit more friendly but in one way, it's also less professional. So how can I go back to my original copy? Well, all we need to do is left click into that version inside the Copilot to restore that change. And if you're not happy, you can just click back on the other version. It's that simple to switch between all your different content inside of Loop that Copilot has generated. So let's consider this. We could use that capability to describe processes, brainstorm and more to create content inside a Loop that you can get working with really quickly. So let's now think about the best way we can plan our sales conference. We're gonna to need to do a few things right to get it off the ground. And can Copilot in Microsoft Loop help us out? And it certainly can. What we can also ask Copilot to do is to create content like tables information. All we again need to do is click on the forward slash key inside of Loop and then we can draft some page content. This time I'll be asking it to create some content for us. So as we can see when we left click into create, we can see here an idea of what we could utilize. I'm gonna over type this and make it very much specific around the table, the columns and what we expect, but I'm not gonna insert all the information. I want Copilot to generate the typical tasks we need to do to get our sales conference up and running. Now I have my prompt, as you can see here, I'm outlining to Copilot that it needs to create a table. 
with that columns that I expect, but also including some example tasks around creating an awesome sales conference. Let's pass this through to Copilot and have Copilot generate it for us inside a Microsoft loop. And there we go. We now have a whole table created, including all of our planning actions. Now at this point, these tables are not integrated in Microsoft Planner. What we can still do though, is tag someone as a task owner, much like we do in Loop Kanban boards. So as an example here, a venue selection is with John Doe. That's an example person, but I can easily overtype it and change the content. Here, let's also delete it. And this time I'm gonna tag my own account as being a task owner. Very straightforward, I've now tagged myself as a task owner, which will also send an email notifying to that person that I've tagged them in this content. That's a great way there to be able to create a table inside a Microsoft loop for many different purposes and also have the contents of the table fully completed for you using Microsoft Copilot. Before we get looped out, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about your 365 coach because if you're struggling in Microsoft 365, you're in the right place. You can check out our website below. That has a huge range of resources from learning courses, videos and more to help you transform the way that you work in Microsoft 365 and ultimately become more productive. There's even a free Microsoft 365 ebook you can download today to give you more insights on the best ways to work. So if you need help, reach out and let us know. So otherwise, let's get back on with Microsoft Loop and Copilot. So I've added more content into this loop page, adding more information on the best travel routes into New York. And once again, Copilot has generated that information. But we now have a problem. This page, well, it's pretty detailed. The senior stakeholders involved in a sales conference might want to have access to it, but they don't have the time to read all of the detail. And that's where Copilot in Loop can really help. Now here at the top, I've got a line that I added, because wouldn't it be great to head to New York City? What we can do is delete this line out of Loop, and instead, I'm now going to replace it with another Copilot component, being the ability to summarize the page. By clicking the forward slash button inside of Loop, we can then select Summarize Page. Now, as we can see, Copilot will begin to read all the content and provide a high level summary. And there we have it. We now have a page summary right at the top. So, as you build out more content inside of your Loop pages, you can have your Copilot capabilities summarize all of that content, meaning you don't have to read the whole page to keep up to date when it comes to understanding what's on the page and what's relevant to you. So let's consider our marketing. We're gonna need some information for our marketing team for our sales conference. Well, let's go ahead and add a new page inside of our sales conference inside of Loop and give it a title and a header so we can get started with creating a new blog post. With that done, what we can also now is go back into Copilot, click on the forward slash key and draft some page content. Now here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new blog post all around our sales conference, the benefits, the location, and more. Our marketing team, well, we're gonna to need to have a copy of this to get working on it. Let's have Copilot do all the work for us. And there we have it. Well, we've all seen this before, right? This is nothing new. Now it's really important here, sometimes to understand in loop that we can also do page recaps. It might not be something you've massively used, especially when you need to write it up yourself. But recaps as your loop pages evolve can really help your colleagues understand what has changed. And we can use Copilot to help us out. In our loop page here, we've got some content created by Copilot and they've also added a few lines at the bottom. Now what we can then do is go up to the free dot menu inside of our loop page and select recap. When we do that here, we can create a new recap. And there's an option above to recap your changes with AI. If I then left click into this, Copilot will generate the actual information that I've added here manually. So as your page evolves with your own changes, you can easily add a short summary to add in the recap. When you're done, click on post, and then you and your colleagues will see those updates. It's a handy way to keep your looped pages changing and also recap that really quickly and use Copilot to do all the hard work. And of course, let's not forget, all the content you've generated, well, you might want to share it with others, and that's feasible to do as well. All we need to do in this example, well, let's go ahead and share our loop page, but let's share it as a loop component. By selecting it here, we can generate our loop component and then take it into other apps. We can edit it in place. 
For example, here it is in Microsoft Teams. All I've done is pasted in my loop component link and here's all of the content that can then be shared with others. And in the same way, we can use Microsoft Outlook as well. Here's our loop content inside of Microsoft Outlook. So there you have it. We've now planned for our sales conference and we had Microsoft Copilot and Loop work together to help us achieve the right outcomes. And what took me minutes in that video may have taken me hours to do on my own. And that's the benefit of working with Loop and Copilot. If Loop is the area to put all of our ideas down and become a digital canvas, well, Copilot is its perfect partner because it can take ideas and create them on the fly, rewrite them, and also create other information such as tables and more. And that's why it works really well inside of Microsoft Loop. But of course, Copilot is still very early in its implementation. And there are a couple of areas that I found that Loop just didn't support at the moment, such as converting a piece of Copilot content into a Loop component was also difficult to achieve. It couldn't also create a brand new Microsoft Planner task board. But of course, that's probably down to the fact that Copilot doesn't much integrate at the moment with Microsoft Planner. And hopefully, while well in future months, we'll see those areas evolve and improve inside the Loop and Copilot. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. But even better, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because this is just one of many videos that is here to turn you into a productivity superstar. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.